Hey everyone, this is Matt N3 VAN. In today's video, going to be uh, repairing a friend's Zigu X6100. In a previous video, I showed you how to disassemble it in this exact same radio. So we're not going to go through those steps. If you're interested, check in the description. I will throw that link for that video in there. Um, but for this portion of the video, we're going to replace the DC port. And what happened was when he was transmitting and using it, let me actually put it down on its back. Um, it would fluctuate between 12.7 volts, which means you have power plugged into it, and the internal battery. So we knew something was wrong, and we actually tested it using multiple um, power cables, thinking, hey, maybe the ones we bought on Amazon or eBay um, or even a reputable store were bad, and it turned out it was actually the DC port. And I told him, send it to me. It was out of warranty, and... Uh, Wanted to get it fixed, so I thought, hey, might as well make a video for you guys. So what we're going to do, let me turn off this light so you can see what was happening. All right. And let me plug it in here. Now, no light comes on. I know this is a good battery, a good cable, because it's the one I use. Let me see if we can get this to go. Nope. Oh, there we go. As you could see, see, that's what was happening. So there was a sweet spot. There we go. And that is actually charging the battery. So when he was actually utilizing it, he was going from 12.7 down to lower um, voltage, like 7.4, and thus losing his 10 watts of output power. So let me turn the light back on. And we're going to open this up. I'm not going to show you the uh, disassembly because I have that other video. But I'm going to get right to that board. And we are going to uh, remove that and put it in there. And in the description, I'm going to show you which part I bought to replace this. So hang on one second. Let's dive in there. All right. Now that I disassembled the X6100 down to the board I need, I removed it. And today, for at least my purposes, we're going to be replacing the DC jack on a friend's X6100. Now I bought a bunch of these, let me just see. There we go, I even label it, because I got a different one just in case. Let me get one of these out. All right, there we go, let's see if it matches. All right, there's the front end. Yep, in that pattern. There we go, better in the screen, will match. And that is it. So let me put this down, get my soldering mat out, turn on the solder, and we will remove the solder parts from here, get that bad part out, pop the new one in there, and then we reassemble and give it a test. Uh, let's see, I think I have it here. There it is. There is the DC to Anderson power pole. Ooh, wrong end. Let's see. Wow, nice positive feel on there. No wiggle. I like that. All right, let's get this removed, pop the new one on, and he'll be back up and running. All right, solder mats out, got the super wick uh, fine braid going, and let's get these off. And if you don't want to see me do this, that's fine. You can fast forward, I'll probably put a, there we go, oops, a little bit off. there all right that's a little bit done got a drink now I'm going into the next one let's clean these off a little more
slowly coming. rotate this makes it a little easier there we go hopefully you guys can still see I'm going to cut this. Hang on one second. Don't want this giant tail there. All right. Now you can spread these out. I used to do that, but it'll be fine for what we're doing. Hopefully you guys are still in the shot or see this. I think that got the most out of that one. Let's go back up here and see if I can get more. Along. Let me put something underneath this so maybe it'll just pop out. All right, guys, got the new one on there. Nice fit. Cleaned it up as you can see using rubbing alcohol. So we are good to go. And let's solder this baby back on. I always think this is funny, but got my old Deer Park uh, bottle. I always keep it with just extra water. Right, don't drink on there, even though there's no lead, but I just use this to moisten the sponge. All right, guys, here we go. There we are, cleaned it up a bit. Let's wait till the heat gets back up to par. Just need a little more. Uh, are we hot enough? Maybe. Go oh, one blob, two blob. That was a miss. Three blob. Missed that one. Come on. Little blob. Let me clean this off. We have a nice rainstorm coming in. Let's see, is it hot enough? Yep. There we go. Adjusted. Hopefully, you guys are still in camera. And last but not least, I'm going to check these because putting it together all right patch that one up I think we call it good might clean up the board a little more and let's pop it together and do a smoke test on this so I'm not going to show you how to reassemble this this will be in another video for um, the x6100 reassembly and I might link it in the description once that's done but that's pretty much it I fixed this component and let's pop it together do a smoke test and hope everything's good all right it's reassembled there is the new dc jack and we're ready to test this out close your eyes patrick let's see if this thing works 
or it's going to start smoking. So I got the Bioeno uh, 12 volt, 4.5 amp hour battery. And let's zoom in. There we go. Moment of truth. Did it fix it? Let's turn off the light. Hey, it's working. So it is blinking, so it shows that it is getting power. Let's move this. Remember last time in the beginning of this video, every time I moved it, it would cut in, it would cut out. So this is fixed. If you guys are interested in fixing it and it's out of warranty, I hope that this video comes in handy for you. I'm going to turn it on to show you guys that it does work. There we go. And we're not cutting out on any power. So he is ready to rock and roll. I do have a few extra of those DC jacks. And if you guys are interested and have a damaged DC jack on your uh, X6100, by all means, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you and fix it for you for a very um, low cost on there. So reach out to me. Uh, look me up on QRZ if you're interested. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I hope uh, this will help you fix yours if you are... Um, you know, more technologically, mechanically inclined to actually disassemble your own radio and uh, deal with those fun bearings on this side if you ever see saw the uh, disassembly as well as reassembly video. But that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, toss them in the comments. And if you like the content I'm creating, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.